and welcome back to Regular Man Ministry, where we celebrate God's gift of masculinity, and the only thing that's toxic is being ashamed of it. Today, our devotional is entitled, Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire, and we get our teaching from 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 and 3. In the past, there were false prophets among God's people. It's the same way now. You'll have false teachers in your group. They'll teach things that are wrong, ideas that'll cause people to be lost. And they'll teach in a way that it'll be hard for you to see that they're wrong. They'll even refuse to follow the master who bought their freedom. And so they'll quickly destroy themselves. These teachers only want your money. So they'll use you by telling you things that just aren't true. But the judgment against these false teachers has been ready for a long time, and they will not escape God, who will destroy them. Heresy is alive and well. (laughs) False teachings compromise the word of God, deny the truth, water down scripture, and may lead uh, astray from the truth. One of these false teachings today is called health, wealth, and prosperity. This heresy twists scripture in a way that promotes greed and rebellion. It teaches that as long as you give to their specific ministry, God will prosper you in this physical life with money. You'll never get sick and you'll never go through hardships. Your life will be filled with candy canes and lollipops. This is just a big fat lie. Don't believe in that nonsense. While it is important to give back monetarily to what God has freely given us, more often than not, the ways in which God blesses us isn't financial at all. It's in family, it's in relationships, it's in career, our wisdom, discernment, peace, joy, Uh, a deeper understanding of scripture, a deeper relationship with Christ. Um, When we give God our time and our talents and our treasures, he wants us to happily, joyfully share it out of appreciation, not begrudgingly or to get more stuff. One of the most common reasons we endure financial hardships is because we're financially irresponsible. (laughs) It's just that simple. You don't have money because you keep spending money. You don't have enough money because you spend more than what you bring home. Maybe you've brought your current difficulties on yourself. And God wants you to learn some financial responsibility. Maybe you're greedy with money and that's your bent. Maybe God's just trying to teach you dependency on him and not on your bank account or your credit card. Maybe you've allowed your desire for stuff to enslave you. And if we're, if we're the ones to choose to go under that yoke, that bondage of slavery, man, we're the ones to blame for our financial hardships, not God. You chose to be a slave to money, then that's your bad. Don't blame that on God. Now, there is no limit to the extent of how God will bless us in this life. Mm -hmm. He'll bless us how he chooses, when he chooses. And it'll be the best blessing you could ever receive. Teaching that God will always fatten your wallet because you give to some television mega church ministry is misrepresenting scripture And that is a serious sin. The fact is, sometimes it is the will of God for us to go through financial difficulties in life. Any difficulties in life. God may have plans to bless us, but if we're irresponsible, we'll only waste God's blessing. He may be allowing assets to dry up so that you're willing to learn from him and to listen to him. But you'll never know that by listening to liars. 
Thanks for stopping by. God bless you, and I will see you next time.